Back at it. Seek, speak truth. Let's get into it. Recently, I just heard about the uh, the robocalls. Well, not really a robocall, but I guess it's a roll call where they're calling people and asking them if they got the uh, the COVID nineteen vaccination and. They're offering to get you assistance to get to a facility that will inject you, shoot you up, give you this shot. You know, they want you to, to uh, volunteer to come and get shot. So you have to understand the uh, situation. This is the very situation that we're in right now. It's time for you to grow up and become that man or woman that Mother Nature, the Creator, have designed you to be and to act more maturely about what's going on because, as I indicated, these people are not playing. These puppets, these demons, they're serious, and uh, they need to be dealt with very seriously. So let's get into this vaccine-induced thrombotic thrombocytopenia, V-I-T-T. Okay, what cardiovascular clinicians need to know we need to know okay and when they speak of this I have the uh, the article in the uh, this in the description a link to it to where you can take a look at this and review this information and basically this uh, this is a uh, disease that comes from the vaccination. They say that it's extremely rare, which I would I wouldn't trust anything that they say, uh, but I would pay attention to what they say and knowing that they are going to give you some truths with a lot of lies, so we know that this is real. But when they say it's extremely rare, I will beg to differ. Okay, it says in extremely rare cases, Johnson and Johnson. Janssen and AstraZeneca COVID-19 COVID vaccinations may cause vaccine-induced thrombotic thrombocytopenia, VITT, a condition characterized by simultaneous acute thrombosis and thrombocytopenia. The condition is similar to heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. Specific risk factors for VITT have yet to be determined, given the extremely low case count. The presentation seems to appear between 5 to 28 days post-vaccination. Patients should be reassured that the benefits of vaccination against COVID-19 far outweigh any potential risk. And when they tell you things like that, you will have to question these people. You know, they're saying that they don't have enough information about this disease that comes from taking this vaccine. But I would I would think that they do know and they're just not trying to present all of the findings. OK, because they should have known this before they started rolling this shit out. It says that. Patients should be reassured that the benefits of the vaccine <laughs> outweigh any potential risks. It's like your body is going to produce the antigens to fight off the vaccine. If you have a 99% chance of survival, how can taking this and being subjected to this disease, how could that outweigh you not taking it? You see, this is what you call reverse psychology. Okay, it's a psychological war that we're involved with. It's a psychological mind game that they're trying to get you to play with yourself. Because when they present you with these mind games that you can play, it's on you if you want to do it. And trust me, if you get involved with that, you're playing yourself. Listening to Wolf Blitzer and Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon. Listening to these soy boy puppets. You know, these people, they have a mental disease already. You know, you're you're gay. There's something wrong with your mind. And then you're on TV talking very proper and slowly and methodically. And, you know, it's just almost like you're trying to induce someone into psychosis or into a, a, 
a spell. That's exactly how you hypnotize people. The way a real man is going to speak is as I speak, and you may not like it because you're under mind control, but if you're not, you're going to appreciate it because you're going to know the difference. Okay, this is serious, and these people are trying to, you know, get you to go and take this and telling you you're not this if you don't take it and you're not that. And it's like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. It's like the things that you're doing in the dark, and then you come into the light and you project this. It's like, this is a fucking joke. It's like, you know, they presented these guys and, you know, they got the, they got one for each sector of the people that go for this color scheme that they came up with, the black and white chessboard that they got in your mind. So you would listen to Anderson Cooper, you would listen to Don Lemon. It's like, these guys don't need to be telling anybody any damn thing. Okay, their minds are already messed up. And if you listen and you Go and take this. You are at risk to contracting a disease from taking this vaccine. And the rest of the article, you should go and, and read this thoroughly and do some more investigation on this before you go sign up to volunteer to get shot. 